Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher what 2. We, um, teach him the lesson. What he did to Fultest. I'll not touch the scum. I get scurvy. Right. Hangman will do it. He's poxy already. So, welcome back to the dungeon of the Lavalettes. Uh, I want to say, first of all, guys, thank you very much for the support on the first video. That means a lot to me uh, that you guys are willing to watch another playthrough of a game that I've already played. Um, that means a lot to me, so thank you very much. Uh, also, I got a couple of really good points of feedback. A couple of mods were suggested, actually. Uh, one that stands out was the um, weight modification mod, so that I can carry a whole bunch of stuff just to make um, farming and things like that less tedious in the future. Um, the other thing I got good feedback on was the book sharing that I was doing. So as I go through this, I'll be keeping you guys updated on where I'm at in the books. And I'm progressing through Blood of Elves rather nicely. I may or may not jump back after the Blood of Elves to check out the Sword of Destiny. But they are doing an official release, like, right alongside The Witcher 3. So I'm not sure if I want to wait for that or just go with the fan translation. But um, either way, really enjoying the books, learning a lot. So, uh, let's provoke these guys, shall we? Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. I'd like to see you try. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Oh, he doesn't even know. <laughs> yep. Rip your guts out! Okay, pal. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I thought he might have got me there. Let's see if we can go flawless. Same move. Not bad. Let's finish this guy. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Okay. That'll do. I don't suppose you'd have a key in this bag, would you? What do you know? Uh, what do we have on the ground? Oh, I guess that's maybe where the bag was. Okay, so we've got, uh, some cat potions, moon rune, worn leather garments, and a small blackjack. Let's use what we can. It's got a stun of 15%, which is actually rather nice. Damn torches. I can't sneak out in this light. How about we just put them out then? Okay, you're now in stealth mode. Try to avoid illuminated areas. Knock out guards by sneaking up on them from behind and pressing right click. Huh? What was that? Oh, well that didn't work well. Okay. Didn't go as planned, but regardless, the job got done. Just a little bit louder than we would have liked, that's all. Chains and bindings. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Okay, we've got one guard to the left for sure. I don't detect any to the right, however. I've been wrong before. Rotten barley for a month. Full-born louts. 
Let's wait till he leaves and we'll follow behind him. You deaf for what? I sent them prisoners escaped! Guards! Right, Where the hell is everyone? Guards! Over here! Throttle idiot. Can you, you not be yelling, up. actually, there it pal? Is, first carving. Wanted me inside? Here I am. What the fuck else do you want from me? What are we... You tell me. Whoa, okay. Support! On the double! Oh, I don't even know where he came from. There we go. Whoa! That stun comes in real handy. Now let's see if we can't take these guys out a little bit quieter. Upper dungeon key. Okay, that's a good sign. I'm gonna try and grab everything I can. Now that mod about the, uh, the weightlessness all of a sudden looks a lot better already. Thing as you're doing, bud. Same thing as you. Yes, but they imprisoned you. Why? They say I killed Voldest. Shame. I'd hope to do that myself. Do you know my mother's fate? Voltest did her no harm. Hmm. I think she's okay. Don't worry about it. Voltest ordered the blue stripes to guard her like some invaluable treasure. Bastard. Placing her among those dogs. One more nobly born should protect her. A baronet, at least. Time to think about saving your life. To me, honor is more important than life. What do you plan to do? Not your concern. We must get to the oil store where there's a way out. I'm weak. You must help me. I mean... I'll wait here. Return for me once you've cleared the way. Two is better than one, I'll give you that. Okay, we have a way down. Bastard! You fucking prick! Fuck you, cocksucker! Fuck you up the ass! Motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking kill you, hear me? I'll whip your prick off and beat your head in with it! Okay, well, yeah, he's friendly, so that's cool. Let's head down, shall we? You're hurt. Oh, hi there. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. The executioner and the scribe. What are you two up to? Ouch. It's hard enough.
go. Okay, so we've got some gear here that we can wear. Whole bunch of materials. I, Arian Lavalette, do solemnly swear that I did sire and father to the children. That I did sire and am father to the children, Anais and Boosie, hereby here too considered my siblings. Yeah, I think someone's being framed. Okay, let's check out this gear that we have. Definitely wear the boots. In terms of gauntlets, uh, these ones are a bit better. In trousers, we got incineration, but this one we have incineration, poisoning, and bleeding. And some armor, so yes. A magnifying glass and a diagram for a claw. It's a trap, wounds, and causes bleeding. Fair enough. So, uh, where I'm at in Blood of Elves right now, by the way, is, uh, I just got to the part where, uh, Geralt and Ciri were headed to Kaer Morhen. And it's interesting because, um, it's really bringing back memories of The Witcher 1, that very first scene where you're fighting outside Kaer Morhen and you get inside and you meet, like, Vesemir and all those other guys. And, uh, yeah, like, I can just, I can just, like, picture it, which is really, really cool. Take some more cats, some more moon runes. And then now, uh, Triss... What can I use here? Oh, the light. We do have an exit over here. Can I jump up? No. And now Triss has arrived, and, uh, she ran into Siri, who was running through what's called the Killer, which is kind of like this, um, training ground for witchers. And Siri was handling it exceptionally well. And then, uh, something happened and she got taken over by this aura, Siri I'm talking about, and was saying how, like, uh, Triss is like the 14th member of the hill or something, and saying all this stuff that she shouldn't even know, but she clearly did because she was being possessed or something, at least that's the interpretation I had of this aura. And so, yeah, really interesting, and uh, I'm getting the impression that Siri is quite powerful, although... When Triss tried to detect magic in her after this, there was no magic to be detected. Which to me means, um, there's something special about this girl. And what that is just yet, I'm not sure, but she's obviously pretty susceptible to being, um, trained by the witchers. Come on, pal. I get Pete's suit one more time, I'll puke on the horse on. All right, darling. Fine. There we go. Just you and me. Not very. That's too bad. I ruined your plans. Rusty key. And so, yeah, I am looking forward to figuring out more about Siri. Um,. There was also, there was questions about, in the earlier in the book, how people were saying that Triss was actually dead. But, uh, and turns out she's not. And we actually ask her about that, and she says, oh, it's a long story, I'll tell you about it later. So I am very intrigued to figure out, um, how that happened, how she was mistaken for dead. It's probably just somebody else with red hair kind of thing, but who knows. Okay, where are we? Not seeing any enemies, although I am hearing some. I don't know if those are enemies or people being tortured. Either way, it's not pleasant.
Uh, we could try the Guzarm. It's got, uh, knockdown of 7% and still a stun. Okay, now this is where... I see. So the Executioner and the Scribe down here. Okay, so that takes us all the way around. Let's go and see if we can talk to Arian now. Anything? Doesn't look like it, eh? Okay, so instead of jumping through the window, we will just continue next time. Seems like that's where we need to be going. Unless... Yeah, this takes us through here and then we could jump down. Up top is cleared out because this is where we found a key, but this door, of course, is locked. So we are on the right track. I'd just like to make sure that we don't leave without Arian, obviously. You know what we could do is, while we're here and a little bit safe, we could upgrade. I was kind of holding off on doing so, but... We've got a couple levels here in Vigor Regen. Uh, we need to grab a level of parrying. We're gonna need the... Uh, hardiness here as well for Vitality. But I'd probably like to get to Fortitude because you get Vigor Regen up, and I think Fortitude has... Um, a Mutagen slot. If I'm not mistaken. I don't want to invest heavily in the training tree, but, um, you know, some of them are necessary. Huh. Can we not go through here? There must be a section that we missed. Because if that's just going to take me in circles... Well, and we end up dropping down here, right? So, we kind of have to go back that way, unfortunately. Yeah, so we probably could have peeked in there, and I think we could overhear them talking about something at one point. But it's pretty easy to put two and two together as to what they were planning anyways. Now the question is, where the hell is the exit door? Like, they're all cleared out, but he doesn't want to talk to me. At least I think they are. Oh, here! Perhaps... Maybe not. Yep, we're onto something. Okay. Let's check out this club. Stun of 13, knockdown of 7. Yeah, I'll take the stun. Or actually, I think it was... Yeah, knockdown of 6.
Come on. Now, question is, are they gonna spot him? Looks like a couple more still. We gotta be careful. We saw one come up to this area. Oh, yeah. Okay. If he turns around, we're gonna go for it. Come on, come on. Oh. Now around to the other guy. You know what? We might want to take our time here. Got him. You would think there might be- Oh, I was just gonna say, you would think there might be some weapons in here. Yeah, we'll take the sword. That makes more sense. We don't get the stun, but that's okay. Okay, so before we carry on there, let's go back for him. I'll put these all out. These are all locked. Help me up. Okay, it's time to go. Up the stairs. This way. Second door on the left. That's the oil store. Okay, good. So he can unlock it then. Oh, it's already unlocked. You know these walls well. Come with me. There's nothing you can do here. I've more to do now than ever before. Like what? Alone. I need no one's aid for what I aim to accomplish. Is that your final word? Farewell, Witcher. Are you serious? Oh my god. It's gonna burn it to the ground. You sure I can't convince you? Whoa! Is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the king. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. 
it'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. <laughs> Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. That's the new boy, you right? Something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. Wow. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those squids, Hell? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms, and they hollered a lot, Yorvath or some such. Mm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea, but it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. I can't tell you anymore, as we fed right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kenneth told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. Oh, great. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. Okay, let's see what he gave us here. About dragons. You've acquired knowledge about a monster species. Review your current knowledge level by assessing or accessing the attributes tab in the character development panel. Dragons were once commonplace, the rule over the continent absolute. Dragonfire was the bane of cities, and dragon appetites were a constant threat to the first colonizers. Mages stood against these creatures. Witchers were created to fight them. Today, dragons are nearly extinct. There are occasional sightings of fork tails and slizzards, but these creatures are to dragons as stray cats are to tigers. Dragons were brought to the brink of extinction by professional hunters like the famed Crinford Reavers. Alchemy ingredients from the dragon's body are among the most expensive and highly sought after by mages. The beast's roasted tail is considered a true delicacy. And again here, right, how it's like, um, we're talking about the dragons in the first episode where there's some debate whether or not witchers do fight dragons, and sometimes they say they do, and then here they say, or sometimes they say they don't, and then here they say they were created to fight them. So it's just kind of interesting. Um, I also want to check out our character screen because we just got strong back, carry more items, full capacity plus 50, very cool. escaped. We need to cut him off. Follow me. All right. Let's go. Thank you, new boy. I owe you. There's a few sentries out there I'm going to have to be mindful of. right for it. I'm gonna just check out over here, Triss. I never really experimented with daggers a lot, and I wonder if they'd be worth getting into. You look flee this way. Very well. Back to your positions. You boy, you stay here. Raise the alarm. Okay, they're coming back. I wonder if we can get by them or not. I 
Yeah, I'm thinking we. Oh, nope. I don't want to have to kill you, new boy. I really don't want to have to do it. I don't think I'm going to have a choice. Boy, let it go. They're gone. Let it go. Oh, Jesus. If that's how it needs to be. I'm so sorry. So sorry, new boy. It's too bad that he couldn't recognize that after they had died, he didn't have to do that. everywhere. Alright, Triss. Look at what he's done to this place. You didn't have to torch the castle. You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. <laughs> Triss, you put yourself out there. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? Come with I'm us. a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. 
their dynamic is so strange to me because I don't know the full story yet about how clear, Captain. like how we kind of ended up with Triss I don't fully understand just yet and uh, you know Triss and Yennefer were good friends you would think that they wouldn't be too keen on me being with both of them but uh, apparently it suits everyone's needs Honor's a curious thing. Honor made Arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. But that same honor prevented him from saving himself. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. <laughs> 